Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to another Cossacks 3 random map. I can't seem to stop these things. I'm just addicted. We are going to play a Spain this time and I'm going to be bright orange versus a normal Russia again. Just taking it easy and we're going to do lakes this time and go for Spanish musketeers. All right, here we go. Nine and nine. Nine guys apiece for the town halls. Oh, the lakes are symmetrical in the middle. It's kind of weird. We've got a a little pathway right to the enemy. Let's go ahead and get the windmill over here. Infinite guys in town hall number two. Get a storehouse going. Actually, I should have done a blacksmith. We'll get the blacksmith going with these guys. Alright, these eight on trees. These seven on stone. What does that leave us with? Three guys left over. We'll wait for that to be five so we could go to a mine. Oh, there it is. Uh, find gold. Find gold. There we go. Barracks. Put the barracks right here on this little road to the enemy. Uh, we need the blacksmith tools. We need the mill crop. Uh, upgrade. Academy going. How you guys doing today? I've had some heartburn all day. It's been bugging me. Kind of just hoping to let it pass. Get an iron mine going here. Now we gotta start trickling guys onto food. And we gotta get. Let's. We said musketeers. We were doing all right. I am fine with that. Come on, academy. There it is. Get the rest of these guys on food. Upgrade the food. What do we got here? Four idle peasants that we need. Up oh, there it is. We need that to be. At least five for the gold mines. Field amelioration, field capacity plus 200%. So the fields will stay full of crop instead of getting picked apart. And uh, we will develop mining efficiency, stone excavation efficiency. And now we need to find a coal mine. Get a little bit of that coming in. So now we have gold, iron, soon to be coal. How many guys we have? Four. Four idle guys in a partridge. In a pear tree. I don't know what that was. That was just stupid. Oh, well, yep. Getting another iron mine here. Wait, I'm just waiting for the batches of five to spit out of the thing. Although we probably should. Uh, start focusing more on food. Where is all the gold? Oh, there we go. Alright, everybody else, since I was taking forever there, get on food. There we go. Food and gold combined gives us better woodworking tools. So that'll just lead us to more buildings. And that's the... That's the intro crop. Intro upgrades, basically. Get this other crop one. And we get another barracks going. Let's 
Start upgrading the firepower of our musketeers. This music is so kind of weird. Um, we've got... Oh, here's some more gold. There we go. Always prioritize the gold mines. As you know, we don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. Bob Ross would say. I don't know, I just got this, uh, this feeling that, uh... If I keep making these videos, I'm gonna end up saying the same thing over and over again. I'm like, you gotta prioritize the gold mines. It just made me think of Bob Ross for some reason. Are they coming for me? They're coming for you. Be more accurate, and that wouldn't happen, man. They're dancing around because they're... Jeez, that was sloppy. That's the problem with the musketeers. They can only shoot, they can't stab. here to get them in a formation and stand ground. As soon as we get access to their field, they're screwed. Uh, 36 guys. Okay, now we want to do this upgrade for the food. We've got way too many idle guys again because this is me we're talking about. I guess we'll get these 15 on wood, these guys on food. And we take care of the farm! Stand ground! Have them stand ground right on the edge of the farm. we go we basically have victory but we can this is what you can do on easy mode you can just let them stand ground on the edge there and pick off every new unit that pops out of these things so now I'm gonna go diplomatic center and uh, get archers to finish it Not without doing more musketeers first. I don't know, I just like having guys stand ground. just nice to lock them in spot in their place whatever the wheel what is that wheel lock rate of fire plus 30 percent 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 
or the archers. Yeah, he can't do anything. We basically just need to march our guys forward a little bit and we have victory. But it's fun to sit and make it easy. Almost have all those guys. See, this is where you could start to fool around and get a market and a shipyard. We have the market. We are gonna do the shipyard right here. Get some fishing economy going. Even though we've already won. And yeah, now basically we just win. Get all of our musketeers that are freestanding. This is using archers effectively, man. Unlike that other video I did. And that is victory, I'm almost certain. What's left? Was that a town hall or something? That is about to be built? It might be. I don't know what's preventing victory right now. No, that was a storehouse. Alright, well, we'll take down... Oh, there it is! I don't know what it was that was preventing it, but yeah. That was another quick and easy fun match with musketeers and archers. The archers I used way better than that last match I recorded. So yeah. Just another fun, easy one. Probably in the next one I'll either do multiplayer again with some people, or uh, I'll do against hard AI and stop making these easy ones. But these easy ones are fun to play. Thank you for watching, and I will see you for the next one. Take care.